guys, welcome to today's Big Brother Canada updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Ninja by One, who wants to know what do I think the eviction order will be for the rest of the season. That is tough to call, but I'll give you my prediction, and I want you guys to all leave your prediction in the comments too. So I'm thinking this week uh, it's definitely going to be either Heather or Adele. I see John and Netta keeping Sabrina possibly till the final three, so I think they're going to protect her this week. And that's that. So then, uh, final three, I'm calling Sabrina, John, and Netta. Um, I don't know if Netta would take John over Sabrina. I'm starting to think no. That's what she's been saying in her diary rooms. I don't know if that's just editing or what, but it seems legit, so I don't know. But I kind of have a feeling, I just have this weird feeling that John is going to win that final HOH and take Netta to the final two, and then Netta might beat him. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. It depends on who wins what, I think, in these last few weeks. But let me know what you guys think. Okay, so <laughs> last night, by a vote of three to nothing, Rochelle was evicted from the Big Brother house, which you guys probably saw if you watched the show. So the show ended with the HOH in progress, and the winner was... John. When the feeds came back, he was parading around in his HOH robe or onesie, whatever it was. So there's your winner, Canada. <laughs> um, but the other house guests didn't leave empty handed. They all had Big Brother onesies as well. How nice. So, of course, John was in celebration mode last night, aka wasted. And Netta was in her celebration mode, aka annoyed with wasted John. It's just, it always happens. But um, John was all, I love you guys. He told Netta, Adele, and Heather that Sabrina's going this week and they are the final four. Are they really though? Because I'm pretty sure the plan is to get rid of Heather this week. <sighs> so <laughs> this was set in motion. Uh, last week, if you guys have been watching the spoilers, you know that. And it was pretty much solidified when Netta caught Heather looking all pissy when John won the HOH. She was like, oh, well, that means that Heather was definitely going to take you out if she won. Which, I don't know if that's necessarily what that's all about, but there's a good chance that Heather would have targeted John if she won HOH, so I think it is a smart move for them. <laughs> but John was like, yeah, yeah, Adele's down to get rid of Heather, he told me, and then Adele confirmed this later on. He's like, yeah, as long as it's not me, I don't care. And uh, he's been continuing to play up his whole shtick of, like, no one likes me in the jury, so take me to the final two. He's really working that, so we'll see. Uh, Big Brother, though, Big Brother really outdid themselves this morning. They woke up the house guests at like, I want to say 6 or 7 a.m. And they gave each of the house guests one of those little like real life but not real babies. Like the ones that you take out in home ec for like a day and you have to take care of it and it cries and you have to change its diaper and stuff. Yeah. They all had to take care of a baby. So, <laughs> did you guys do that in home ec? I did that and I regretted it. But it was fun at the same time. It wasn't fun when it was crying at night. But anyway, um, the best caretaker gets a prize, and the worst gets a punishment. So Big Brother didn't tell them how long they would have the babies, so they were all like, oh my god, what am I going to do, like, my morning routine and all this stuff. So they were all, like, freaked out. And I have to say, this may have sucked for the house guests, but I think it sucked for the live feeders even more. Because all we heard all morning was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. So I think um, it was kind of sucky for the house guests also because so many of them had been drinking heavily last night. So those screams and cries from those fake babies were probably like, stabs into the brain. I don't even know. But, um, turns out the challenge was done by noon, and the house guests had to wait a little while before they got the results. We'll get there. So, <laughs> Big Brother locked them outside for a while. They gave them some backyard games. They were still like, we're barred. Um, they got some lacrosse stuff, some hockey stuff, and some pool floaties. Um, so then they were complaining about being on lockdown forever. But while they were out there, 
Big Brother was kind enough to set up a baby shower for them inside. Can you say baked goods and champagne? I can. So they had their little treats. The results are in. The best was Adele. And the worst, this is kind of a shocker, was John. The reason that this was a shocker is because Netta wanted nothing to do with that baby. She was like doing laundry with the baby on the ground and like all this crazy stuff. But you have to realize the way that this competition or challenge was judged is like this little chip that's in the baby. I know this because I, I took the baby home for home ec. And it, uh, takes a tally of like all the little head tips of the neck and um, if you like missed the cries or whatever or if you didn't feed it enough so uh, taking that into account John was the worst and he had to wear <laughs> a baby outfit including a bonnet, bib, and diaper it was like this weird big diaper um, so the other house guests have to feed him I think and I don't know how long he's wearing it I couldn't see them making him wear that for more than like a day at the most. But guys, remember last season when Jeremy was running around in that diaper? <laughs> and by last season, I mean BBUS season 15. Good times. But anyway, um, I don't know if Adele got a special reward or what. I think uh, the whole house got to enjoy the baby shower. I don't think he got like a special reward. I think it was just the worst person got a punishment. It was kind of misleading. But anyway, nominations are tomorrow, and it looks like Sabrina and Heather will be going up on the block. John has already told uh, Sabrina about this. He's like, you're safe, the other person's going home, and he plans on telling Heather that she's a pawn, but she's not. So <laughs> that's all I have for you today, and until tomorrow, Three, two, one. Edit. Edit.